At midnight tonight, life will change for more than 1.3 million Americans. All have been without a job for 27 weeks or more. Until today, they've had long-term unemployment benefits. Those end as the new federal budget kicks in. Major Garrett is at the White House tonight. Major. Jeff, the nation has never cut off extended unemployment benefits with a national jobless rate of 7%. We found two Americans in states with even higher jobless rates. They are about to lose their benefits and the ability to make ends meet. 30-year-old Lynn Richards lives in Elgin, Illinois. A mother of a 14-year-old son with another child due in a month, she's been out of work since April. $500 a week and extended jobless benefits disappear Saturday. It's definitely a fear of the unknown. Um, not having a major income in our household um, when we live pretty much paycheck to paycheck, it's going to affect mortgage, bill pays, um, anything that we do as a family, um, car payments, that kind of thing. So it's scary. The unemployment rate in Illinois is 8.7 percent. To Richards, a former purchasing agent, the economic recovery is just a rumor. It's hard on your self-esteem. You don't feel like you're contributing to society. It's very, it's very frustrating feeling um, essentially useless. Paul Hallisey lives in New York City. He lost his job in educational publishing in June. The state's jobless rate is 7.4 percent. His jobless benefits of $375 a week will expire in a matter of days. I've had um, seven interviews. I've answered over 500 ads, um, but I haven't had any job offers and uh, my unemployment is going to run out next week and I'm going to have no income whatsoever. It costs $25 billion to extend jobless benefits for one year. President Obama is asking Republicans to extend them for three months and worry about the costs later. But that's a non-starter and no help to Richards, Hallisey, or thousands of other jobless Americans just like them. Major, as you mentioned, the, the president's making it clear he, he wants an extension here. What's he doing about that? He's calling sympathetic senators, Republicans and Democrats, and the Senate is poised to act, Jeff, right after the beginning of the new year. But House Republicans say if the president really wanted to extend these benefits, he would have fought for them and provided offsetting cuts in the budget deal he just signed. When the president didn't do that, House Republicans interpreted that as a sign he wasn't altogether that serious, and the pressure for a while was off them. Major Garrett at the White House. Major, thank you.